Seems there was a few questions left unanswered after that last video. So, I will try and answer them. One of them was, wonder how much voltage is wasted in that cable. Well, let's uh, see how close we can get to answering that. So instead of hooking it up to a USB wall ward or something, I've got it hooked up to my little uh, 5 volt power, or my power supply here. Um, so we'll turn him on. And the little voltmeter is showing 5 volts there on the USB voltmeter. And this is also showing 4.98. Um, I guess I'm getting there with the actual meter and let's call it 5 volts bang on. Now then, this little piece here is relatively light gauge, but it's the shortest female USB that I could find. So we'll go with that. Um, so let's turn Mr. Iron on. So now down here it says, and you can't see it, but I'll, no, no, I'll prove it to you. It says 4.8, 4.7, 4.8. Yeah. Meanwhile, over here on the iron, right at where I soldered it, 3.9, so it is pretty much 4 volts. So we're losing... What is it? 0.8 of a volt from there to there, assuming that this can be trusted. Okay, there's one question answered. And another point of confusion um, was the current. So let's use that 4 volts there, just for our math, and this guy's saying 0.95, this guy's saying 0.96. Let's go with 0.96 just to be generous. And since the current is going to be the same everywhere in the circuit, we can do some quick math, right? So, uh, 4 volts. Uh, what the hell did I say? Um... Uh, 0.98 amps, roughly. Close enough? Okay. I guess. Kinda. And yes, I, as was pointed out, I did suck at my math. Um, I'm going to blame it on dyslexia and beer. So, to create watts, we need volts times amps. Which I did actually do. So, 4 volts times 0.98 amps is 3.92 watts. Which is pretty much what I was getting before. If I'd done the math right. But that's a far cry from the watts that this thing claims to be. So, what do you want for 6 bucks? Another question was, why didn't I just jump her between the pads on the board and cut the track like I said I might do? Why did I instead choose to cut it off and solder straight on? Mostly for reliability. This is a cheesy little thing. It's probably not all that reliable. Anyway, so why leave an extra point of unreliability with this crappy little connector? set of connectors here. These were never designed for pulling an amp through them anyway. These are designed for milliwatts of audio. So why leave them in there? There's nothing to be gained from having an unpluggable cord, I don't think anyway. Um, it doesn't make it any more compact. So that's the answer to that one. Another question was, how long does it take to heat up to solderable temperature? Well, let's find out. We'll start that there. So that was at the 9 at quarter 2. So I'm just going to 
do this until it melts. This is the boring part of the video. 25 seconds. 30 seconds. 35. 40 seconds. There we go. We got meltage. Now then, can we actually solder with it? Um, melt the board, or heat the board up, heat the pad up. There we go. A join made in under a minute from powering it up. Okay, I think that's all the questions that were asked by the time that I'm recording this video. Um, I'm probably not going to update again if I get more questions. I'll probably just answer them in the comments, but who knows? If somebody asks something amazing and startling, I might just be motivated to spend a couple of minutes down here and uh, do another update or re-edit this one or something. Anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.